The NFL on EA Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Minnesota Vikings. about ready to get us going and we are underway from downtown Minneapolis and they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback They go play action. Cousins. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Completion here, second and ten from the 25. Cousins. He lets one go deep for Addison. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Vikings. Jordan Addison, 75 yards. And the Vikings go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Here's Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs, right side. And Diggs will have a Bills first down as he'll get this up to the 32. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. 
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. The name Viking fans know well. It's the brother of Dalvin, James Cook. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A great stop by D.J. Wadham to back the offense up on that play. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. And this offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of the strong? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play here for Buffalo. 43 yards. Oh, he fakes a spike. And that is kind of wind up incomplete. So they try to hit him with something you don't see too often. But it doesn't work out. And yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit. And they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. Throwing now is Allen. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. about ready to get this next drive underway. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finish. They got his man, complete! Down to the 10. Touchdown, Vikings! Jordan Addison, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. 
Second down and eight. Now Allen. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. They'll give him four yards there. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. Oh, and this turns into a mess as it's intercepted. Inside the 20. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. 